Will a shell hit a nuclear power plant lead to a new Chernobyl? We look into this with a physics engineer. As a result of shelling during military operations near the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine, a fire broke out in the plant's training building on March 4. Firefighters extinguished the burning building, and Ukrainian authorities reassured that there was no radiation leak. But this situation raises questions about the level of protection of such hazardous facilities and the risks in the event of their destruction due to military action, as well as the consequences for citizens of Ukraine and other countries. We look into it together with Andrea Zhurovsky, a physicist engineer and expert of the Russian Socio-Ecological Union. We emphasize, during the shelling near the Zaporizhzhia NPP, there was no damage to the reactor buildings or hazardous facilities at the plant site. The fire was in the building of the training complex. According to the official information of the State Inspectorate for Nuclear Regulation of Ukraine, the radiation background in the area of the plant did not change. We asked the expert about hypothetical threats. So far none of them have materialized. What happened? On March 2, the Russian military approached a roadblock in the Ukrainian city of Energodor near the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant. And on March 4, during military operations near the nuclear power plant, a five-story training building at the plant caught fire. After 7 a.m. the fire was extinguished. There were no fatalities or casualties as a result. According to Peter Cotton, acting head of the company Energodom, the first power unit was hit during the shelling. When the shelling started, we started transferring the power units to a safe condition. Two power units were disconnected from the grid, and cooling of the other two units began to bring them to a safe condition," commented Cotton. According to him, one power unit of the nuclear power plant continues to operate. The nuclear power plant has now been taken over by the Russian military. It was the second nuclear power plant to fall under Russian control after Chernobyl. There are three other nuclear power plants in Ukraine, the Rivn, Khmelnytsky, and South Ukrainian plants. Are military activities near nuclear power plants dangerous? Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant is the largest in Europe, it operates six power units. Each of them is now fully loaded with fuel, Petrokontin reported. In addition, there is nuclear fuel in three reactor pools and another 150 containers with already spent fuel in the dry storage facility located at the plant. Any projectile hitting it would result in a nuclear disaster, says the head of Ukraine's Energodom. Engineer physicist Andrei Ozharovsky agrees that military operations near the nuclear infrastructure pose a serious risk precisely because of the damage that could be done to the reactor buildings or to one of the radioactive waste and spent fuel storage facilities as a result of military shelling of the nuclear plant site itself. Each of these facilities is radiation hazardous. And each of them is vulnerable to fire, he explains. The reactors of the power units are inside concrete buildings. But they are not fortified structures. If they are hit by a round of more than 150 millimeters, as I read in one of the studies, the concrete structures could collapse, the reactor, the primary circuit piping could be damaged. What can shells hit reactors or nuclear fuel storage facilities lead to? In order to imagine the possible consequences of a breach in the integrity of power units and a leak of radioactive substances, Andrei Ozharovsky suggests looking at the maps compiled by Austrian scientists and experts as part of the project Flexible Mechanisms for Nuclear Risk Assessment in Europe, which he published on his Facebook page. The maps show the level of contamination with the radionuclide cesium-137 after it falls to the ground, under different weather conditions and wind directions. The authors of the study proceeded from the possible release of about a quarter of the contents of one of the reactors of the Zaporizhzhia NPP due to internal problems of the plant. Maps of possible cesium-137 soil contamination in case of destruction of one of the six reactors of Zaporizhzhia NPP under different meteorological conditions, simulated by experts of the project Flexible Mechanisms for Nuclear Risk Assessment in Europe, scientists of the Institute of Meteorology and Institute of Safety and Risk of Vienna University of Natural Resources and Applied Life Sciences, BOKU, and specialists of the Austrian Environmental Institute. The analysis of the map is roughly as follows, yellow, there may be threats to agriculture, which means that these areas may be taken out of agricultural production. Within the red zone, there may be cleaner areas as well as dirtier ones because of the tainted fallout. But it is possible that a number of settlements in this area will be evacuated, explains the interlocutor. The consequences of the contamination that the experts modeled could be comparable to what happened in Chernobyl, says Andrei Ozharovsky. 
but as a result of shelling of nuclear power plants or accidental impact of shells on reactors or fuel storage facilities, the consequences may be both more serious than those shown in the maps and less dangerous. I have not seen calculations of what would happen if a spent nuclear fuel container site were shelled. But my understanding is that even more radionuclides could come out because there is concentrated radioactive waste there. At the same time, there will be less radionuclides because they are in the solid phase and they are not very hot, that is, it will be caused by the explosive substance of the shell itself or by the physical destruction of the concrete and metal containers, says the expert. The danger of such contamination would be long-lasting because once radionuclides are deposited, they will gradually enter food, air, and water and throw them into the human body. Aren't nuclear power plants protected against military attacks? Nuclear power plants are not designed to be hit by shells. For example, the Belarusian nuclear power plant is protected against a fall of a plane weighing no more than 5.6 tons, modern fighter jets weigh more than 15 tons, and the maximum takeoff weight of a medium-range passenger airliner, such as the Boeing 737-800, is about 80 tons. Andrei Ozharovsky notes that, if a large-caliber bullet were fired at a reactor, for example, it would do nothing. But in case of shells, and especially missiles, which are currently used by the Russian military in Ukraine, the special cover will not be able to protect the reactor. Even more vulnerable to shelling are the storages of radioactive waste and spent nuclear fuel located near each plant, the physics engineer emphasizes. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.